YouTubers. Sorry I haven't been on in a long time. It's because um I've been busy lately and Yeah, tomorrow tomorrow um is my last day of school cuz I, I I all the whole all of next week I have no school due to spring break cuz today's the first day of spring. Yay. But it's still going to be in the mid 50s this week. I it looks like and tomorrow's gonna be 47, so it's gonna be really cold lately. But anyways, that's not my topic. Um, my topic uh, is um. Okay, this one I've been thinking of doing in a long, a long time. Um, why does so many action movies of today have to have romance in at least one part of the movie? Oh my God, I hate this. Every single action movie now just has to have one romance scene. Oh my god. That is dumb. Why? But yeah. And by the way, I did go see... I, I went to go see a movie this weekend. Um, on Sunday, I saw Robocop. Yeah. The movie, I, like I told you about, um, I was gonna go see. Was it better than the trailer? Now, um, it, now it was. Eh, yeah, it was better than the trailer. Um, definitely. And the movie, eh, was so-so in my opinion. The movie was so-so. It had problems, but, you know, it could you could tell it was trying to be its own movie. And it was trying to be different from the originals. I've never seen the originals, but... Um, it's the only one I've seen. It's the new one. Um, I saw it on Sunday, March 16th. You can see 2014 at, um, 4.45 p.m. Yep. So there you go. And, yeah. By the way, there was a, there was one, a, two, a couple scenes of romance in this movie. Oh, my God. Like I said, it happens all the time. Stop it, Hollywood. Why is action movies of today I always have to have one scene of romance? What's so good about romance? It's taking over my favorite genre. Here's the action. Here's all the action movie. Um, except for one of them, it's more of a space movie, but still, I call it kind of action. All the tickets I have. Um, Here's my ticket for Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah. My favorite movie of all time right now. Um, it's the only movie I've saw twice. The older ticket, I do not have on me. But I remember I went to go see it May 23rd, 2013. And um, I just didn't have the ticket for it. So I actually saw him one month before. One time, one month before. And one month after. Exactly. Both on the 23rd of May and June. Pretty interesting, huh? What a coincidence. I saw it on June 23rd at 4 or 5, 4 or 5 p.m. And there was some romance, in, one scene of romance in this movie. See, this is what I'm talking about. By the way, I also have Star Trek 2 Darkness on Blu-ray. One of these over here. Prison of Darkness. It's somewhere. I can't find it at the moment, but, um, I will get it in a second. I will get it. I'll show it in another video, and I can't believe it. Video, I mean, my movies just sneak out of nowhere for some reason. By the way, um, this one also had a little bit of romance in it, but it's a good movie. Now I'm showing some of the movies I have on Blu-ray and stuff. Here's Man of Steel. Good movie, but, um, the romance in it, there, I believe there was romance in it. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I got mixed up with another one. But the romance in this I, that I remembered wasn't that good. <sighs> Come on, people. Stop with this romance crap. Now it has to be in action movies. Oh, my God. What's next? Is romance... What's next? Is romance going to be in dramas now? Oh, God. 
It's like they think romance is the best thing that ever happened to them. Ah, forget it. Mass Steel is a good movie, but it could have been done without the romance. Oh, this one's rare. This one had hardly any romance at all. Live free or die hard. Yes, yeah, support die hard. This one had hardly any romance in it because it focuses on the action. Good movie. And this is a good movie, too. I like that one. See, you don't need romance anymore. But that was before they did this whole romance crap. That came out, that, that gone nowhere. Battleship had some, I think. Battleship had some. Yeah, there's Battleship. This one had a few moments of that crap, but it's a good movie though. But um, in my opinion, people hate it for some reason. People call it horrible, but I don't think it's that bad. Believe it or not, I think it's okay. It's a at least they tried. At least they tried. You could tell they tried. Um. This one I always forget if it had romance or not. But um, I also have it on, on um, VHS and DVD. And in black, I forget if this one has it. Has the romance crap. But, um, yeah. I'll have to check again. That was the original one. The Fast and Furious films, yes, there's romance in these. Oh, God, romance, stop it. <sighs> romance crap, but good movie though. Both of them are good, in my opinion. Three was all right. I ha speaking of that, I have three. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yes, I have the third Fast and Furious called Tokyo Drift. Here it is. I like the slip cover; it's all shiny. And um, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, Fast and Furious films have romance. It's like stop with this romance. Now I'm getting to a few VHS tapes. Day after tomorrow, by the way, I'm not showing spines and facts and stuff in the tape in, the, in these videos. I'm just showing real quick because I want to show as many as I can. I'm not going to have time to show what it looks like and stuff. Day after tomorrow, yeah. It had a few things of romance in it, but I remember. It's like just, just stop in Hollywood. Ugh, I'm tired of this. Ugh, I hate this. this this is no good. This one I also forget, because I haven't watched this one in a while, but I remember this one being good. Top Gun, yes, this is a good movie, but I haven't seen it in a while, so I don't remember this one. Has romance or not. Um, the Bourne films have some. Hold on. This is the first one. I mean, the third one. Whatever one. Um, where's the other one? Somewhere. Um, oh. Find another one. If I get to that one. I'll do some more. Um, what else? Here we go. Oh, oh I'll find the other one. First one, so I'm gonna put everyone's here. Let's just start with these. The one I was trying to show is Born Ultimate. Got this DVD June 29th. Yeah, again, this one had a few secrets as a romance. I'm tired of this romance in action movies now. Stop it. Next up, Star Trek. Um, I do have Star Trek. Star Trek. I can't talk. I I also have Dark Star. Dang it, I mean, sorry. Um, Star Trek Into Darkness, I have on Blu-ray, but um, I have the DVD of the first Star Trek. And next up, I have three Bat, like, Batman reboots. Batman Begins, Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. But, I mean, all three of them are good movies, but um, I don't remember if they have romance or not. I think they have a few sequences. I'm tired of the romance. It really sucks. Next up, 310 Yuma. Um, I think there was one sequence. I, I watched this the whole movie recently. It was good. I like that movie. Um, the Wolverine. I also have the ticket when I went to go see it. Um, yeah, good movie. And 
He had bought the DVD too. Yeah. This is a good one. I got the DVD December 20th. Amazing Spider-Man. Had this forever. Um, I forgot the day I got it. It's a good movie though. Um, yeah. Yeah, a good movie, but um, I forgot the show notes. That one. Next up, Green Lantern. Eh, it's okay. It's just kind of mediocre. But yeah. I think there's a few secrets to the romance. It's like, just stop it, people. Stop with this romance. Romance isn't this dang good for it to be in every genre. <sighs> Quit it. Oh, here's another one. Definitely action. I don't think this one has any um, romance in it. I, I can remember. Marvel's The Avengers. Awesome, awesome film. Yeah, I got DVD versions. It's the only one I could find. The Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3Ds were both out. So, I really wanted to get it back. I remember the day I got it. I got it March 3rd, 2013. So, I had it. I got it exactly a year ago. Um, yeah. Good movie, but, um, yeah, the romance needs to discontinue. Um, let me look for another one. Stealth. Eh, this one was okay. This one was kind of boring. I might donate this one, actually. This one was boring. It was alright, but it was just not that good. Oh. Here we go. Oh, found this one. The Born Identity. Yes. Finally, I found the Born Identity on DVD. My dad used to have this one, but he let me have it. The Explosive Extended Edition includes all new beginning and ending. Yeah. Good movie, but there's a few sequences of romance. It's like, just stop with this romance. <sighs> Stupid. And the first one's somewhere around here again. Um. Mission Impossible 2, Mission Impossible 3, and Ghost Protocol. It's the fourth film. And the last film in the series. Yeah. All three are good. I mean, all four are good, but... Um, not including the first film. The first one was good, but... Um, it's not in that one. Hold on, I'm trying to get back here. So I can, I can stay in this area at this same time. That's why I kind of changed the channel. And next up, Skyfall. Great James Bond movie, but it has romance in it. <sighs> Tired of that. Tired of that romance. Ugh. So stupid. Why do people have to have romance in action movies now? I always have to be some guy with this girl in bed doing whatever. Stop, Hollywood. Stop this. Next up, Iron Man. Yeah, first one. That one's good. Ah, almost fell there. Let me get back over here and see if there's any more. Yeah, there's some all the way down here. Yeah, this one. I, I This one's pretty much action. Super 8. This one's good. But, um, yeah, this one's a good movie. I've seen this movie um, about four times already. That's a good movie. Um, yeah. What's another movie that, an action movie I have that, that has romance in it? Ugh. Oh, not that one. Don't look at the wrong one. I was expecting a good one. Lord of the Rings Return of the King, third film. Lord of the Rings trilogy. Might get this one in VHS. Again, this was used to be my dad's, but he let me have it. Yeah, third Lord of the Rings film. That one's pretty good, but... Again, stop with the romance, people. Romance isn't that dang good. Unstoppable, I have yet to see. I've never seen it. I haven't seen it yet, but I will give it a watch. Hopefully tonight. Um, hopefully tonight. Um, next up. The sequel is already out on Blu-ray. I'm gonna get that Blu-ray combo pack, but um, I do. Have, I only have the first Hunger Games at this moment, but Catching Fire is on DVD now. I will definitely get it. 
sometime. Sorry, it's been a while since I got it, but yeah, I have the first one though. It's a good movie. But again, a few sequences of romance, just like the second film. And also, there was a little bit of nudity in the second film. Only, but all, not much though. Just one shot of the film. It's like, just stop it. Ugh. It's like, just stop it, Hollywood. Is it really that, that, it's not that good. Seriously, people. Stop with the romance. And the nudity and the, and the action movies are just stupid. Ugh. That's so dumb. Why? Why, Hollywood? That's just stupid. Stupidest choice they've ever made. Um... Find another one. I'm not gonna have a lot of these. Hold on. What else do I have that's action? Batman Returns. Good movie, but um, the romance in it is not good. Um. Again, the romance in that movie was crap. The Harry Potter franchise. I always forget if they have if they have um that stupid um stupid romance or not. Um I don't remember any, but I'll have to rewatch the movie again. And find out if there's any. Next up, this one I have on VHS. This one is got January twelfth. Christian Tiger Hidden Dragon. Yes. I, 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 I still have to watch this one though. Stick a label in the print date. Yeah, I still have to watch that one. See if there's any romance in there. I pray to pray to God that there's none. Another one I have to watch. I don't think I've seen this film. The Chase. Yeah, yeah. Stick a label on the first date. Yeah, I have to see this one too. That one, now that one looks good. Hopefully there's no romance in it. That completely ruins the action movie. Held it back from doing good. Romance is just stupid, people. Quit it. <sighs> I'm unhappy right now. There's up I already report. Haven't seen this film in a while. Need to rewatch it. I remember it being a good movie. I'm just tired. Yeah, you probably. S I kind of sound unhappy right now because I'm just sick of romance. That's all. Oh my god. The world is not enough. Yeah. This is good. I like this movie. But there is a scene of romance. Oh, quit it. Quit it, Hollywood. Quit it. You're done, Hollywood. It's over. Just go away, Hollywood. Actually, this next one does not sound good. I might donate this one. I've never seen the movie, but I never will. Daredevil. This movie does not interest me. Yeah, this movie, this tape I'll be giving away. This one does not look good, in my opinion. I rewatched the trailer, and it just looks, it looks dumb. So, I'm going to donate that one. That one does not look good at all. Um... I thought I'd like it, but it, it doesn't look good. Plus, it got bad reviews. So, I'm, I'm going to donate that one. The Scorpion King. Stick a label on the first date. Good movie, but the romance in it is not good. Um, um, oh, yeah. There's a few sequences of romance again. The Tuxedo. Yeah, DVD one again. Okay, movie, but, um, the romance in it is just stupid. But, yeah, and here's another one. This one I saw in the theater. Um, I don't remember. Wait a second. There was, uh, there, I don't remember if there's a secret to the romance or not. And I went to go see Nonstop, um, on March 2nd, 2014 at 1045 a.m. Yeah, I went to the XD one because it was the only showing I could find in my area.
Yeah, it's a good movie. I liked it. I, that one I can actually call good that came out this year. Next up, Gravity. City is completely faded because of the ink. Sorry about that. I went to go see it on opening day, October 4th, 2013. Sorry it's so faded, but it's just the ink is getting old. Yeah. That's a good movie, though. Next up, Pacific Rim. Yeah. And this, the back is a little bit faded. Yeah. It's a good movie, too. But yeah, that's pretty much my discussion. I'm just sick of it, people. Stop it. And talk to you guys later again, okay? Bye.